Real Events, Echoes of Ku Liang, a radio drama series, relates the warm and vibrant life stories of the Ku Liang friends set in the historical tapestry of the 20th century. Hometown Ku Liang. CGTN Radio presents you Echoes of Ku Liang. Is that you? Me too. You are back. Ma'am, are you okay? Please watch your step, ma'am. I'm fine. Thank you. George. There come me. Did you run into some bandits? Yes. Yes. And they're still on our tail. Quick! Go hide in the woods. I'll lead the bandits away. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so much. Look, their carriage. It went that way. After them. <laughs> Brothers, let's help them down. Sounds like those thugs have finally backed off. All thanks to that brave man. Mary, are you all right? Where are we, George? Are we safe now? Oh, look, you're shivering. Here, take my coat. I'm fine. I'm okay. I just hope our baby is safe. I can't believe the 20th century begins like this. But don't worry. I'll protect you and our baby. George. If we don't reach the dock by nightfall, there's no telling when the next ship will come. Do you think the young man will come back? It's gonna be okay, Mary. Let me figure it out. Just try to rest for now, love. May God watch over us and our little one. Sir, ma'am, are you there? Hey. Yes, we are here. Thank heavens, you are back. Are you both okay? We are fine. Have they gone? Those bandits? Yes. I ventured into the village afterwards. They wouldn't dare follow. They are long gone. Don't worry. 
Thank you so much, sir. My name is George Gardner. I'm a missionary, and this is my wife, Mary. We are Americans. Thank you for saving us and our unborn baby. Thank you, sir. Just doing what's right. I'm Guo Fushen, a postman in the village. Thank you, Mr. Guo. We really owe you a great deal of thanks. But we must hurry to the dock before nightfall to catch the ferry back to the States. Let me escort you out. I know the mountain pass well, and we can take a shorter road, ensuring your safety. Thank you, Mr. Guo. We can't thank you enough for today. It's nothing. I've parked your carriage over there. Come, come, this way. <laughs> if it weren't for you today, I don't know what would have happened. Mr. Guo, God blesses you and your family. We love China. Hopefully, one day we will be able to bring our child back. Hello, is this Guo Fusheng's home? May I help? Oh, it's you! I can't believe my eyes! <laughs> yes, we're back! <laughs> Mr. Guo, George Gardner and my wife Mary, the American couple you saved last year. <laughs> How could I forget? Wow, it's so good to see you again. Me too. We asked the villagers, and they told us you lived here. Hello, Mr. Guo. Look who we brought along with us. <laughs> Our little adventurer. Newton is coming to meet his hero, Uncle. <laughs> oh, your baby. Yes, it's nearly a year. Ah, it's a boy. Please, come inside. Melian. It's them! Yes! The American couple I told you about! They brought their baby! Meili is my wife. Welcome to Kuliang. Come right in, please. Hayat, come and meet Mr. and Mrs. Gardner. Hello, sir. Hello, madam. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too, sweetheart. What's your name? My name is Guo Haiyan, but you can call me Haiyan, madam. So, this is your... This is Dashan, my little brother. He's one year old. Dashan, wave hello. <laughs> He's so cute. Hi, Dashan. Looks like you've got a little brother. This is Newton, a little boy. He's nearly 10 months old now. Newton. Me. Twin? <laughs> <laughs> Look, you're like best friend already. <laughs> right. yeah. Mr. Gardner, I'm so happy you actually come back and brought your son with you. We've been eagerly awaiting this visit. It also happened that the church needed missionaries to China, and I jumped at the chance. It's so wonderful to be back and extend our thanks to you and your family. And see your lovely daughter and son. Ma'am, tea please? Oh, thank you, my dear. You're so impressive. How old are you? I'm eight. <sighs> Haiyan's been with us since her parents' passing. She's very much a part of this family now. That's incredibly touching. She's lucky to have you. Well, she's a blessing for us. Truly heartwarming. <sighs> Honey! The vases. Oh, yes, the vases. <sighs> We're having such a good time. I almost forgot. Mr. and Mrs. Guo, we've brought this pair of lacquer vases for you. It's from China's Ming Dynasty, I think. We left in such a hurry last time. We never got to thank you properly. Oh, but this is... No, no, no. We couldn't possibly accept such valuable gift. Please accept this gift. 
They are from our lacquerware collection. <laughs> George loved Chinese antiques. We admired the craftsmanship and brought them from the locals. We sincerely hope you will accept them as a blessing for our families and our children. They look incredibly precious. <laughs> yes, we can take that. Your kindness and goodness are priceless to us. It means a lot to us that you accept them. It's our heartfelt thanks. Oh, yes, please, don't refuse. If it weren't for you saving us that day, I really don't know what would have happened. My mutant wouldn't be here today. Madam, we appreciate your generosity. But honestly, anyone here would have done the same. Yeah. Look at our humble life here. These fancy vases would be out of place. Why don't you keep the vases with you? As such a blessing for your family's safety and well-being. Bing, bing, an, an. <laughs> I've learned that base in the local dialect sounds like ping ping, which sounds like peace or safety in Chinese. Ping an, ping an, <laughs> symbolizing being safe and sound. Yes, it's a local tradition here. Keeping a pair of vases at home is believed to bring peace and safety. Then we will keep the vases for you. This place, your warmth, it's all been so beautiful. That's very kind of you, madam. You're welcome to visit us anytime. Thank you so much, Mrs. Guo. We're living in a stone villa up the mountain. Oh, great! You and your children are most welcome to visit. We're neighbors now. Welcome to Kuliang. <laughs> <laughs> we hope Milton will come to be good friends with Da Shan and Ha Yan. Uh. <laughs> 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 and so begins our tale, a tale of love, peace, and friendship. Milton Garner, that little boy, would grow into the man I'd marry. I am Elizabeth Gardner, but most people know me as Betty. My husband was born in California in 1901, but he spent his first 10 years in China. In 1968, I became Milton's second wife. Throughout our years together, Milton often shared with me the stories of his early days about growing up in a far-off place in the Chinese mountains. The first sizable group of Americans to visit communist China since the middle 1950s will be a table tennis team. Graham B. Steenhoven. Milton, honey, can you switch to something else? You've watched this news piece at least ten times already. Uh, okay, darling. I really wish I could go with them. I really do. If only I were 50 years younger. Tea time, darling. Look at this teacup. Oh. The craftsmanship is exquisite. It's so much better to drink tea from such a piece of art. Your parents truly had an eye for beauty. They sure did. They were deeply passionate about Chinese culture. During their stay in China, they collected so many pieces that spoke to them. And now that I'm retired, I finally have the chance to go through them all. This teacup, for example. It's from the Qing Dynasty. It's a real treasure. So, you plan to donate most of these to the museum, according to your parents' wishes? Of course. They wanted to share the marvels of Chinese culture with the world. But that pair of vases... I think we'll keep them with us. They're beautiful. The lacquer work is so detailed. 
It's almost as though they have captured a moment in history. That's because they have. These vases are actually from the Ming Dynasty. They're around 300 years old. George and Mary always intended to return to China, to give these vases to our old friends there. They were meant to be a gift, a symbol of friendship. They symbolize being safe and sound, Ping An. But why were the vases never delivered? What happened? Well, that's a long story, Betty. After my parents came back to the States and had me, we all returned to China. And I had a wonderful childhood in a place called Kulia. <laughs> Give it to me! <laughs> <laughs> Little monkey, little monkey, climbing up the tree. Hey, what do you have there? Is that a monkey? Yeah, it's my new toy monkey. I'm waiting for Dash and Haiyan, and we will teach him how to climb. Cool. Can I see it? It looks cool. <laughs> let me let see, me see, let me see. see. But he's learning to climb. He's my friend. Climbing? Here, let me show you how it's done. <laughs> there! Your monkey's really climbing now. See? Up in the tree. No. How's he supposed to get down? You were teaching him to climb, weren't you? It's up to you to get him back. <laughs> but it's too hot. I can't. <laughs> Cry, baby. <laughs> he doesn't know how to climb. <laughs> oh. Hey, what's going on here? Why the tears? Mitoa, who's been bullying you? They put my monkey way up there. I can't reach him. Oh, don't be such a crybaby. We're just having fun. <laughs> he can't climb trees. <laughs> Even monkeys can do that. Useless. Scaredy cat? Every kid here knows how to climb. Hey, don't say that. That's not fair. I'm not scared. I just... I can't. No worries, Mitoa. I'll help you. Climbing's easy once you know how. Yes, don't be afraid. This grandpa tree is more than a thousand years old. He protects all the kids here. Come, Mitoa. Step on my shoulders and you'll be taller. See? Really? Do you think... I can't? <laughs> Absolutely. I got you. Just step up here, and I'll lift you to that branch. Let me help you. <laughs> Slowly. Wait, that's it. Use your legs. <laughs> Perfect. Now reach out. <laughs> I can almost touch it. <laughs> yes, I've got it. <laughs> See? Nothing to fear. Right here, keeping you steady. <laughs> Watch, Watch out! out. <laughs> gotcha. Mitu, are you okay? Dasha, Dasha, how about you? Uh, I'm fine. Oh, Dasha, you, you're bleeding. Oh no, it was the branch I was holding on to. It hit you. I'm all good. Nothing serious. Let's apply these herbs first. They can stop the bleeding. <sighs> Look, I've stopped bleeding. The grandpa tree protects all kids. And look, your monkey's safe and sound. Thank you. You're my hero, Dasha. We look out for each other. That's what brothers, sisters, and friends do. Guys. Mituni is our friend. And no more teasing, okay? Everyone's brave in their own way. Sorry, Sister Sorry, Sister, Sorry, Sister, Sister We won't do it again. We won't do it, do it again. again. Sorry. Sorry. Dashan, Haiyan, is it true there's an ancient spirit living in this cedar tree? 
<clears throat> yep. My dad told me, his grandpa told him so. The tree is the protector of our village. Grandpa Tree keeps us all safe, and he will hear your wishes. So, we will all grow up together, and he will protect us, right? Of course, and we'll protect you too. That's amazing. Dear Grandpa Tree, I wish that we could stay friends forever. Me, Dash, and Haiyan. Huh? We will. Let's make a promise. Friends forever. Friends forever. Championship competition after an absence of six years, finished first in four. Friends of forever. Of competition at the That's so touching, dear. The men's team of the United States was rated 24th, and the women's team 21st. Well, the you know, Betty, the Chinese speak of Yuan to describe a serendipity of meeting someone. It's a concept that captures the beauty of predestined encounters. My parents meeting with the Gore family was nothing short of Yuan. And my own childhood encounters with Dashan and Haiyan, well, they were Yuan too. Yuan, that's an amazing word. It's not just me, but everyone who comes to Kuliang forms a connection with it. Each has his or her own story. It was there I learned the importance of friendship, courage, and the enduring power of kindness. Echoes of Ku Liang is a radio drama series crafted by CGTN Radio, portraying a tale of love, peace, and friendship. Adapted from real events, it intricately weaves vibrant characters and vivid narratives amidst the historical tapestry of the 20th century. If you find this story captivating, please consider giving us a five-star rating and leaving a comment. Feel free to share it with your friends and let the echoes of Kuliang reverberate further.